I'm back again. I have uh, I, I want to be honest with you guys. I have an addiction. Got a grip on me, you guys. It's called Mexican ice cream. <laughs> Man. This is coconut. My favorite is pecan. And strawberry is good. Mango is good. The spicy mangoes are even gooder. <laughs> mm. Let's see what I'll... What's going on with Pussy Boy and his fake car accident? I hope you guys are ready for this one. <laughs> I, you can smell this one is so bad. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Jacob's here once again. Can hear out of my right ear as I'm talking. Mm. Oh. Sounds like this. It's no fun. No? So, oh, something really, Jacob. really terrible. Very weird. Very weird. Very weird. Happened um, yesterday. I don't know if you probably saw it on X. Uh, Danielle. Tell me he just didn't have that. I'm crazy looking in his eyes. I'm crazy. Mm. This motherfucker right here is out of his mind. Ethan and I, we were driving, and um, we're on our way home, and there's this really very cool, very new development in there. Danielle and I, we usually drive in there, and we like it, and it has a golf course, and we're like, oh, one day, maybe we'll be able to afford to live there, kind of. So we drive in there sometimes to kind of look around, and, um, you know, we pulled in, and this place, it's, uh, it's historic. It's connected to the uh, Revolutionary War. And uh, the name of it, um, the definition of the literal place means one who is about to inherit the land that was promised by one's ancestors. It's a native term. It's connected to the, um, you know, the Revolutionary War, 1776. Oh, that's very that interesting, stuff. Jacob. Thanks for this the is history all lesson. Up to something. Right. The long and the short of it is, we pulled in, and there was a parking lot as you come into the um, actual the footage. It's a big, very, very nice area. You you pull in and um, you go to the left if you want to go. There's another parking lot there. There's a waterfall, and then there's like this beautiful golf course, and you know. So we 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 pulled in, and then we're like, you know what? Let's just go home. And um, so, we, you know. We, Followed the arrow, and we were going into the um, the area um, where the uh, golf courses and everything else, and um, we were gonna head back home. So the problem was, as we make, it was the strangest thing because I'm I'm looking, and I feel like I feel like the whole this is a this is a really we're very I believe we're very very lucky to be alive for a couple of reasons. A, we decided to buy um, out the lease on the pilot that um, Danielle got a while ago. It was a big car. For whatever reason, we were like, you know, it's worth it to sacrifice and spend a little bit extra money on this thing. And uh, I don't know, like 20 something thousand dollars to pay out, 24,000 or whatever it is to pay out the, um, the rest of it. So we bought it, we just bought it. And as we were pulling in to, the, to this area, I said, oh, I said, here, just let's go in here. It's clear because we couldn't see anything. Um, and the instant she turns in, there, it was, I don't know. I, I woke up and it was very strange. My ear, um, as it's ringing right now, it's ringing right now. It's, it's as muffled, it's ringing right now. And if I talk about it, it goes like that. It's really, um, 
interesting. This hearing is very spiritual. Do you guys think Jacob's going to win an Oscar for this one? Of course, I'm like, oh, what did I do, Lord? You know. May I remind you that he's reading every word that he's saying. These are not honest words from an honest mouth. Not, nowhere even close. And where do you hear how this is connected to Elon Musk and the Matrix and everything else? I may put on the thumbnail or the title that Matrix attacked me because this is really weird. But you know that I'm right. going <laughs> it's my, I feel like it was my fault. Danielle and, and uh, keeps telling me, and Ethan keeps telling me, thank God everybody's okay. I mean, we went to the hospital, the ER was packed, it was a nightmare, you know. Um, we just worried about the chills and um, really that. Where'd you go to acting school, Jacob? Because uh, you suck. <laughs> the car hit me. Um, the pilot, like right behind the, like the tail end as we're turning in, it came boom. And um, any, like a second earlier, it would have hit, and Ethan was sitting behind that door, and I was right next to it. I took the, uh, I took the, you probably see this is, I'm Buckle up. I wore this on purpose because we were all buckled up. Thank God both airbags went off. So we, we get out of the car, it was very strange. And the reason it was very strange was because there was no stop signs. You know, it was like we couldn't, there was like all these trees in between the area where the lady was coming down. It was very strange. And she was speeding. Ethan, poor thing, he saw the whole thing out the window. And he just, he says, he says I didn't have time to, because she was speeding. And this is in a, in a private development. So it's kind of like, oh, well, the town, you know, when police get there, there's nothing they can do. You know, so it's just it's like a no-fault accident. She couldn't see us, we couldn't see her. Ethan saw her coming. He says, I just closed my eyes. And, um, you know, and I, we were worried about him last night, sleep, but I didn't get any sleep at all. Um, I've even been in accidents before, but this was really weird. Um, and it's a weird one for a couple of different reasons. Because it was at the end of the road where, um, where you would leave, that area where this happened. And it happened yesterday on, Ju on July 20th. There's a lot of other stuff that's really terrible, um, you know, that just happened that were just like really not so great issues that happened at the ER. There was an issue with the insurance. You know, I tried to save money, and we probably do this too, because I'm going to make four children. I don't make my, my, my wife's a teacher, she makes more money than me. Um, and that's why I have a key assault. And now I'm like, why did I get this like to hamster trap of a car? Because God forbid, if we were driving that soul, which by the way, we were going to be driving that soul. But we decided, let's trade in the soul for the pilot. So we dropped the soul off to my daughter's work as I dropped her off at work in the morning. So that she could have the car and then we would just stick with the pilot. So we traded in the soul to be driven by the pilot. A friend of mine who likes to give me a hard time. You hear, you, you see where he's going with I this? It was pretty significant. He's a pilot, of course, would be God, would be Christ. So, um, uh, this whole thing, I'm sorry. This is not like a normal video for me. <laughs> Yesterday, um, July to about 20th, was Moon Day. It was the, uh, it's a very, oh, it's like kind of a cold fuck. day. It's a big deal. Here we and go. It's the day when the astronauts walked on the moon first. So it's called the Moon Day. The moon is symbolic of the soul. This is going to get so weird. What else? Why wouldn't it get? Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, someone preaching about God and shit and mentioning the moon and walking on it or what the fuck ever. Uh, this is nailing his own coffin. Fuck this. See? I knew it. All you have to do is let them wreck themselves. <laughs> 